Hi, welcome to the first dev blog episode for the game Homefront Harvest. This is a farming and community life simulator game that takes place on the first day of spring in 1916. This um, takes place in America and um, you are located in a small town that's yet to be named um, and you are taking over the farm. This is a, you might be, you might be wondering why, why America in 1916? Well, it's a very interesting time, um, starting around 1916 for America. We had just invented flight. Um, there are a whole bunch of scientific discoveries going on. There's a lot of philosophical debates raging in the country. It's the end of the Gilded Age. It's the middle of the Progressive Era. Teddy Roosevelt has just stepped down as president. Woodrow Wilson uh, has become president. The U.S. will soon become involved in World War I. In 1918, 1917, 1918, the Spanish flu will strike and have a devastating toll. And so you, as this farmer in uh, rural America will see a lot of changes that happen in your little town and community and you will uh, be struggling and you'll have to deal with that throughout the course of the game. This involves um, perhaps watching and supporting the suffragette movement, um, seeing friends go off to fight in World War One, uh, other Women go off as nurses in World War I or step up and take over local businesses. You will be uh, have to deal with the effects of the flu pandemic and help out. Um, and then all of these resources that you had access to in terms of building your farm will be strained and you'll be asked to step up and uh, provide some of those to the front line. Uh, and send some of those overseas. So you go from, in 1916, a bit of um, idealistic, um, verdant America to really helping out a community as it goes through this period of change and struggle, all the while while dealing with all of these different forces that are acting on America and the world. So this is a little bit of a different take on the typical farming simulator that is very relaxed and um, verdant throughout the entire time. In this one, you'll start out um, with a lot of resources, and then you'll be you'll be tested along the way. There may be some fantasy elements here. Um, I would like some some combat and some dungeons, uh, perhaps. But a lot of this will will be actually going through history of. And sometimes history is stranger than fiction. Um, and so history will be a very big part about what's happening in the game Homefront Harvest. So with that, let me let me show you around what I have. And it's just a prototype at this time. Uh, the, the pixel art is a bit rough. Um, but we are getting there. This, this prototype I built uh, was in Game Maker. But uh, I'm moving all of it over to Godot, the Godot game engine, and so uh, we'll take we'll take it from there. But uh, essentially, just building out the typical farming mechanics uh, that you would see in any game. I'm interested in putting a crossbreeding element in here to get different varieties of uh, the same kinds of flowers and fruits. I have a time day and night cycle programmed in. This is sort of my debugging uh, code right there just to see what's going on. Here I'm in plant mode and I can advance the days and see this is just uh, the cycles going through. Another thing that will become important in this game is uh, I, I think uh, adding a bit of, of Crossbreeding, especially um, making different varieties of, say, corn, making sweet corn, and uh, just making it hardier uh, and being exposed to pests and blight will be an important part of the game. 
and then um, and then also of course watching your carp crops grow and harvest them and see this is the end of the cycle as I have it here but um, all of this was done using following along with uh, a great tutorial series by uh, the f friendly cosmonaut I think uh, is is her name and I'll link the series the farming series uh, that she has for game maker but as I said I'm going to be using some of the tutorials there's a great tutorial by heart beast uh, to get into Godot and uh, this is the very beginnings of this series uh, so porting, a, porting this prototype over and then starting to dive into the character arcs and really dive into the history I, I also want to provide to you the historical books that I'm going to be reading and citing so that you have some information about uh, what's going on during this time period and really dive into some of the uh, the philosophical debates, the inventions. Edison is also working at this time. Neptune is discovered. Uh, the Zimmerman note comes out. The Lusitania is, is sunk. You have flappers and uh, robber barons and the railroads become important. Uh, and so all of that will be inside of this game um, along with um, again the the need to provide for your community and play an active role and not have so much of an I, easy way <laughs> through the game um, but but face some adversity in the the typical farming simulator so uh, I have some of this ported already over to Godot I wanted to show you my prototype in in game maker uh, this is just a couple of <clears throat> months work with um, getting the plants together in the, the time cycle and the, you know everything set up here I have another town uh, over but <clears throat> but as I said I'll be porting this over to Godot and I'll show you some of the code if you want to follow along with that and then uh, I think every video I'll, I'll talk about some of the the historical texts that um, that I'll be citing and that will be influencing the game. So if you're interested in, in other another uh, farming simulator, but one that has ties to history and um, has some community adversity driven storylines, then stay tuned for this devlog. If you're interested in programming in Godot, um, also please stay tuned and I will be um, updating this fairly regularly and um, just let me know in the comments uh, please like and subscribe if, if you're interested and uh, we will take Homefront Harvest uh, to the next level together and so I'm interested in, in hearing the kinds of things that you would like to see uh, particularly in a, a farming simulator that's not super easy that has some um, that has some challenges into it and uh, yeah, let me know what you think, and uh, thanks for watching.